This is not another boring styling video of what to wear or not. Easy ways how to look stylish, modern at age of 50, 55. will help you to give you plenty of ideas on how to dress well, be fashionable and elevate your style. Quick disclaimer, this video will be a lot of fun and very inspiring. If you want more videos like this, please like, subscribe and share. It's only one click for you. It means the lot for me to support my work. Really appreciate. It. Merci. So black can make you look slimmer, but it doesn't mean that it's going to suit everybody, especially with age. It can wash up a little bit your skin tone. So instead, try some colors to suit your undertone and the rest of your wardrobe. I like to see, for example, a woman who's wearing a royal blue or an emerald green looks absolutely fantastic. This is the time to play with colors. You can pair with a blazer or a pair of shoes, but here are the colors for 2024 and trust me you're going to see them everywhere so check after this video in your wardrobe if you got a couple of those colors because that's the moment to wear them first one is pistachio okay this is not for everybody but because it's a pastel color but apparently it can make you look softer and suit a big range of skin tone i do not agree with that doesn't look the best on me but you're going to see a lot of soft green pistachio colors the other pastel colors coming back as well is powder blue and this one is gonna be massive. It's dominating all the runaways of 2024. This powder blue will give all your outfit kind of a Cinderella feel. If it's this you vibe, why not? Then we have this almost navy. When you are sick of wearing black, well, it's perfect because it's a very dark blue navy, obviously, and it looks absolutely amazing on everyone, on every item, and as well, it's a great color to pair with a bright yellow, orange, camel it goes with everything highly highly recommend we did with this one then you have the millennial pink it used to be super popular in the 2000s and it's coming back actually a lot of things are coming back from this era i keep the best for the the end so please watching to the end because the end is like it's a gem so this is another soft pastel color i think this color is hard for a lot of people but if your skin tone suits perfect i do believe it will look a little bit better if you wear something if your skin is a little bit warmer so maybe save this color for summer or spring canary yellow <laughs> Obviously, we talk about yellows, but super bright yellow. It's great to boost your mood, and it's a beautiful color. And for some, if you really dare, you can wear it from head to toe. But if you're like me and say, oh my gosh, no way in the world I'm going to wear this type of color, then guess what? You have accessories to play around. So have a bag, have an accessory, maybe a necklace, a scarf, something that is still super bright. It brings a pop of color in your uh, outfit without looking like a canary. Forest green is the big hit on Runaways as well. Big time, fantastic. I'm very happy. It's one of my favorite colors. And in my opinion, it's better than pistachio. Of pistachio, if it's not your cup of tea, like me, and wear this color. Perfect for any type of atwear, trench coat, uh, blazer, vest, jacket, anything atwear looks fantastic with a pair of jeans as well, but as well as an evening wear. So in my opinion, it's this color will suit everybody. Lots of silver but when i say silver i'm not talking about a little bit of silver here oh no we go for the full one disco ball shimmering curls and pants and everything and they right now we are that in daytime i love the fashion trend i love it. it's like wow if i see a woman wearing a type of pants like that in the street i'm like wow i will stop her and say fantastic good on you for daring but if you're like me a little bit more minimalist a little bit more not so sure i'm gonna wear a disco ball pants in public outside of a 2 a.m. in a nightclub, which I don't do anymore. Well, you can still have a little bit more fun by wearing, again, accessories or a little bit of a shimmer, but forget the gold this time, all about silver, and as well, expect to see more silver metallic pieces on shoes. Another color that I'm not fan, but it's been there for a long time, is lavender. <sighs> what can I say about this color? It's probably going to look better if you wear anything delicate. 
such as a knit or something in lace or something a bit transparent. Very excited about this new color, which is not new, but it's coming back, is red leather. Any women will look like a hot goddess with this type of skirt or jacket, but the best of it doesn't have to be a bright red. There are different tones of red, and the good one are, in my opinion, a more burgundy or the dark one. It looks really, really sexy. And there's a moment like that you can look again at your wardrobe or your clothes and I when I've been doing my research for you I went to all the big fashion websites and I'm like oh my gosh I give away my burgundy cross by Gucci and I regret it now but if you have something similar that's the moment to wear it you're gonna look fashionable trendy and still modern girl it's time to get a new haircut a new you a new color no need to have a tons of layer or crazy volume or tons of highlight go back to a little bit something more modern easy to maintain the most important these days because we're losing a lot of hair or hair is getting damaged with age is to get healthy hair a good haircut it means that you look a little bit younger trust me it's gonna help you but let's see as well at some inspo for haircut because you're like oh i don't know what to do well the mixy cut are you ready it's a mix between pixie cut and mullet i know i know girl when i hear mullet i'm like i'm cringing my body is reacting i'm like no way in the world but that would be the perfect haircut first to look modern and as well have a little bit of length in your neck if you're still not ready yet to go for the big chop then you know what they said yeah why not it's here it's fashionable okay curly bob um so a bob it's super easy it helps you with some curls if you want to so easy to do even with an iron you know like i do with my hair to bring a bit of volume super soft my hairdresser told me as well what it was fashionable now it was to do some curls like this little bit like the 70s think about those hot actresses with the big curls at the back it's coming back it's soft and i think it's called as well the wolf cut terrible name for a sexy haircut in my opinion but it's coming back so if you do a bob or something a bit different and still style it differently so you don't look the same every day if you are black or have black hair good on you because this is the time that the afro is coming back oh my gosh i would love to get that it's put your curls at there in the front in the center more fluffier bigger it is a better it is you have a beautiful face where you have afro girls or if it's not your cup of tea then you can go back to braids but the fashion now is to wear braids super long with different tones of hair color as well look super sexy or either way you can do it with your head or if you have braids you can like just you know slap everybody around and say don't approach too close <laughs> Okay, go back. The executive bob is the kind of bob that means business, that means I'm serious, I'm working, take me seriously, I'm a CEO. But it's for everyone as well because it looks super polished. It's fly away free, <laughs> not for everyone. <laughs> it's not too short, it's not too long, and it's always a big trend. On any type of haircut trend, the bob is always there. And then again, it's something you can style differently every day. The Rampanzel well, if you have a lot of hair and they naturally curly or not you love wearing long this is the moment play with your beach hair i'm just gonna put in the screen when i say beach because i don't say beach i say beach but it sounds the same to me <laughs> you can as well if you have a bit of a long hair and you know your hair is like oh i'm too lazy to wash my hair today the slick bun always in fashion super elegant super stylish suits everybody always keep that in mind you can do split in the middle or on the side with a big chignon or a small one if you don't have much volume looks super elegant you can as well the classic the classic pixies coming back i'm super excited about this one it's shortcut but get a bit slicker and again it's another one you can style differently it looks fantastic if you rock it with some red lips big shades you're gonna look sexy actually i'm thinking even myself cut my hair like that next year my hairdresser is not very excited about it we will see next year to be continued and then we have the buzz cut so it's a classic cut for very very short hair and then you can have an amazing hair color look the grades as well on gray hair on peroxide hair i don't recommend if you're a certain age for that but it still looks fantastic on some women as well stop hiding your body under layers of clothes take the opportunity to try out some fashion trends different style that will still suit your personal style and your everyday life and make you feel more confident and comfortable and please have fun this is the most important 
important as well. So don't be afraid of mix and match different style and to create your own look, your own signature. Find clothes that flatter your body, but also suit your everyday activities. Girl, anyone can look fantastic with a nice pair of straight leg jeans and as well a beautiful t-shirt if you, from the moment you start accessorizing properly. My recommendation is just stay aware of, we say that in French, frou-frou, any type of fringes, balls. No, that doesn't look really stylish, isn't it? Just keeping very simple, but stylish. <laughs> So for example, one trend is coming back and it's so easy to do is the sweater over your shoulder. You can do that over a nightwear, a trench coat, jacket, whatever, but a t-shirt, a shirt, because with everything, apparently it's the French touch. I don't know about it, but now you can do it over the shoulders or one shoulder out, so it slides a bit, so apparently it's very stylish. Or for the more daring women, one is under the underarm. I don't think it's super classy, but why not to have fun? and have something a different color from your top to bring some contrast. The waist vest was still very strong in fashion. It's one of my favorite fashion pieces. I have two of them, one in, in linen black and the beige uh, neutral. I love it so much. Looks fantastic with a nice pair of jeans, even with a shirt underneath. If you have some, that's the moment to wear them. Looks really good. And also leggings. Leggings, I don't think they never left, but it's still coming back. But this time, girls, I'm not talking about asking you to wear leggings where you can see through with holes. Or no, no, forget that. We talk about the super classy, high quality leggings. Things about Victoria Beckham leggings. So they need to be fixed. It's not the one you go for sport or do Pilates, okay? No, 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 no. The one to wear daytime, beautifully done. If possible, wear the same color on top to create this monochromatic look. Nice shoes and bag. Looks fantastic, easy, and super comfortable. Trust me on this one. Listen to me. Take notes. Open your ears. It's going to be a big trend in fashion and I'm so excited about it. I love it because it's feminine and elegant. Is draping or draping or drap. Only need, for example, one piece. It can be a top, it can be something open in your back or on the front. It's great as well if you want to hide some areas of your body, maybe hiding a tummy. It can be a t-shirt with a little bit of a cleavage. If you have maybe small breasts, you want to give a bit of a volume. Draping is fantastic. I'm telling you, it looks super elegant on a skirt, on a dress. And if you don't have the budget, don't stress. If you have a sewing machine, you know how to use it, you can probably doing that in a couture. But I think I'm going to try it as well. Instead of having a simple t-shirt, for example, and create the creases or the draping with a knot, if you have some safety pin and you can do from the inside and then tucking in on the side, I'm going to give a try because I don't have anything draping right now in my wardrobe, but I got safety pins and a t-shirt <laughs> to be continued. The shirt dress is is back. The simplicity of this shirt or shirt dress you can wear it with combination with pants, pair of jeans underneath and you look you wear it as a hat wear. Even in winter time it's getting cold you can still wear something like a jumper or a sweater underneath. Looks fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Do not tuck it, not tuck it, that's up to you but accessorize it with a belt. Girls you remember in the 2000 belt were the big thing I used to have a massive collection, big belts, one hip of shirt dress over really big shirts is coming back so I hope you kept those belts if you are a belt girl you're gonna absolutely love this new trends for the shows if you are interesting to see what the new trends what to wear about comfortable shoes please let me know in the comment section because I have big ideas about a new video I would love to tell you what to wear for be comfortable and be super trendy because sometimes you just need a nice good pair of shoes no heels to look fashionable and trendy modern and stylish? Let me know in the comment section. I couldn't believe it when I opened Vogue France and I saw Leopard print handbags are coming back. I'm like, wow! Super happy about it. Remember in the 90s, 2000 again. Is that so funny, isn't it? The big trends fashion are always coming back, even if it takes 10, 20, 30 years. So always keep your big investment pieces, even in not fashionable right now. Well, let's see in 10 years when it's going to be. So don't throw everything away. But yes, this cute little handbag 
is coming back. And also the clutch and the pochette is coming back. I'm sure you have one in your wardrobe. Go have a look after watching this video. But I'm so excited about it because Leopard print is one of my favorite, especially on an accessory. So it's not too overwhelming. It looks stylish and wearing the same color head to toe. Having this pochette and looks fantastically fashionable without making too much efforts. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Like it, please. I highly recommend you to watch as well this video. It's super, super popular right now. Thank you so much again for being with me. Big kisses. Have a great week and see you to the next video. Ciao, ciao.